All right, welcome to Liberty Hill, Texas. Now everybody's gonna say, Jeremy, what are you doing in Liberty Hill, Texas? Well, we are in one of the communities that is the fastest growing communities probably in all of Austin area. We are in Santa Rita Ranch, and today we came out just to talk with some of the builder reps and look through some of the homes. Here's the craziest part about this entire neighborhood right now. This entire neighborhood has homes being built like crazy. We'll show some of the footage, but the thing is, is that you can't even get a home out here right now. The builder we just talked to, which is uh, Scott Felder right behind me, Scott Felder has about 10 homes left out of like 80 that they had for sale. They're really not selling a whole lot. You, we have over here, we have Lennar. Lennar has nothing to sell. Walked over to Highland. Highland won't even open their door for us. So to show you what the market is looking like, this is what the market's looking like. It's hot, it's still going crazy. Buyers are out, just talking to the rep, when they opened up the 80 homes that they had for sale, they had a line of people. In fact, they had people sleeping at the door. You probably saw this story, waiting for this to actually open. So the reality is, is that it's still really hot. Okay, so when you're getting a home like this, which this is Scott Felder, a lot of the things you're seeing in this house are gonna be things you can upgrade. But what are some things you don't wanna skimp on are nice countertops. A lot of times, if you wanna cut costs, you can get a two millimeter countertop, which just means it's a little bit thinner, but the look and the feel of a countertop, it's worth getting the extra three millimeter or getting the larger uh, countertop. Some of the things in a house like this that you can upgrade are always gonna be the backsplash, the cabinets, these cabinets are probably a level four, level five cabinet. And a lot of times you're gonna get some of that nice, nope, not gonna do it. One thing that I'd recommend, I, I this is a me thing, maybe not a you thing, but if you're gonna spend five, $600,000 on a house, get soft clothes. Not like this one, because this is not soft clothes. But definitely get soft clothes. Let's talk shiplap. Everybody wants to be chipping Joanna Gaines. The reality is an upgrade like this is gonna be kind of expensive. So it's up to you. The builder will do it, but it'll cost a lot more and take a lot longer for the home to be done. Or you can do the upgrade yourself later, which will still cost you a lot of money and be a pain because you're not gonna get your kitchen. Let's talk tubs. I love a tub, you love a good tub too. If I turned this on, we'd have a great time and get some bubbles going, but I'm not gonna do that for this video. That's the after hours video. But here's the deal. Some people really like tubs and it's hard sometimes to get a really good tub. So if you're gonna go into a new build, make sure you can get a really cool tub like this one because I'm not gonna lie, I might have to stay here. Jaden, get out of here. This is my tub now. Let's talk showers. You know, some people go skimpy on their showers, right? When they're picking out upgrades for their new home that they're buying. Don't go skimpy on those upgrades because it's gonna cost you a heck of a lot more money in the future to go and put this tile back in there and rip it out. So if you're gonna do a custom home or if you're gonna do a new build home or to be built home, make sure you spend the money on your shower and do it right the first time. So showers, pro tip, make them nice like this one. Okay, let's be honest. When you walk into a new build like this and you see all these amazing upgrades, you're gonna see these stone fireplaces and all the little details like we talked about, the shiplap in the backyard. But here's the deal. Be careful when you're upgrading a home and you're picking out all the upgrades for yourself because one problem that people run into is that they over upgrade a home and then when the appraiser comes to appraise that home, it doesn't make appraisal because you upgraded it more than what is actually going on in the neighborhood. So pro tip, ask the builders that you're working with how much people are putting into their upgrades. That way you're not going crazy over on your upgrades where you might actually have to pay that out of pocket because it's one thing to choose to do something later. It's another to uh, have to pay that upgrade fee at closing because you went a little overboard. Just make sure you don't go too crazy on the upgrades. They're fun, they look great, but don't go too crazy. I looked at the MLS today, 3,800 homes that were on the MLS. That's way lower than there was in October, right? So we're in the first week of November, 3,800 homes. Now, if you look at the MLS, 400 of those are not even near Austin. So somebody just threw them in the MLS. Let's call it 3,400 homes. 3,400 homes on the MLS right now, 922 of them are actually new construction. So we're here and I asked the Scott Felder rep. So you have 10 homes for sale. So there, some of them are on the MLS. Are these available and when they close? Even if you put one of these new builds under contract right now, it's still, that's an inventory home, still not gonna be done until June 
July. Now I'm actually out today with a reporter from Bloomberg, kind of showing them what's going on in this market. And you can get in a great neighborhood like this in Santa Rita Ranch, which is, you know, 400s is where they're starting at. They have homes up to $1.3 million right now. Even if you want to come out to this area of Texas or this area of Austin, it's still a challenge to get in because there's really not a lot of inventory. So this is a great neighborhood. There's a lot going on in and around the Liberty Hill area. In fact, if you look at Leander, Leander's growing like mad. If you want to get into that area, it's great. Still not a whole lot of development around Santa Rita Ranch, but I think that'll change. So if you're looking for a good neighborhood, definitely look at Santa Rita Ranch. Keep in mind, half of the neighborhood is in Georgetown uh, ISD. The other half of the neighborhood is actually in Leander ISD. So a little bit different schools. Tax rate on one side is 2.71. Tax rate on the other is 2.77 but if you can find something out here on the mls it might take you a few months to get it this is about a 40 minute drive to downtown austin in traffic it might be a little bit more but if you're trying to get down to the domain you're trying to get down to facebook google some of those places this is not that far of a drive it's a great community brand new i mean brand new everywhere so there you go jeremy knight the ninth group make sure you like comment subscribe we'll catch you on the next video